delicious. And I wasn't doing that well. I've been in contact with an actor. Yum. I don't normally start my weekly vlogs on Sundays, but I decided today I would. <laughs> Just because today I'm actually doing something that involves me going out for the first time in quite a while. I finished my chemo treatments a week and a few days ago, and I've been mostly just at home recovering. I still haven't been feeling like super great, but today I'm feeling good. So I thought mom and I could go on a little date. So we are headed into Godrich, which is like kind of a beachy town. And we actually have a cottage right around that area. So I think our plan for today is to go to Godridge, check out the town, walk the square, maybe do a little bit of shopping, even though I'm trying not to spend too much money lately. It's not been working out so well. We might grab some lunch and then we might check out the cottage to see what it's like. We haven't been able to go up all summer, obviously, because I'm really... I've been really sick, so it's just easier when you're sick to be at home. But we thought today we would check it out. So that is the plan for today. And I'm really excited. I'm just honestly excited to get out of the house and do something that's a little bit more active. I have been slowly trying to be more active, but it is really difficult because my lungs are struggling. I don't know if I just need to like retrain them or what the deal is, but I've been very out of breath whenever I try to walk or do anything that's like kind of active. I kind of want to make a matcha to go because I've been obsessed with matcha lattes lately. They're delicious. I don't make them the way you're supposed to make them, like whatsoever, so don't do it the way I do it. But it is really easy this way, so I will show you guys how I make my matcha. So to make my matchas, I actually use my Nespresso milk frother, which you're not supposed to do, but it does work. <laughs> I think you're supposed to actually use like a bamboo whisk and hand whisk it with like warm water, but I don't do any of that. So whatever, it still tastes great. And for the matcha, I use um, Habit Tea, which is Amy the Beck's tea brand. Uh, they're fellow YouTubers. They're amazing. I love them so much. And they're Canadian, which I love, so. Their matcha, also delicious. It is so good. So I filled my milk frother with milk. I sweeten it with maple syrup. delicious. Mom and I are now headed off to the cottage. We did a little bit of shopping. I got a ice cream. We did food shopping. We did food shopping. We didn't get anything we tried to get else. Books. We looked at books because there's a little cute bookstore in Godridge. Mm -hmm. I said that really weird. I don't know why I said God rich. God rich. <laughs> but they didn't have any of the books that we were hoping for. So not meant to be. It was a sign that I have way too many books on my physical TBR. Mm -hmm. And I need to practice self-control. Mm -hmm. So we did that today. We also went out for lunch, which was really fun. We went to, they had like a train, old train station that they turned into a restaurant. And I had perch tacos, and mom had fries. Fries. <laughs> Fancy fries. Fancy fries, but fries. And it was delicious. And now we're going to the cottage. Our little vacation. A vacation.
one part about coming to the cottage is trekking up all these stairs, <laughs> which normally is fine. But, but post chemo, home. Jess is not so uh, physically. not so physically <laughs> capable. <laughs> Now that I'm done chemo, I still have to take my white blood cell injections for 10 days until my immune system is better and my white blood cell count is better. So that means I have to do these injections every night. I've been very, very, very bad at actually remembering to do it, which is probably why I'm still doing it. Tonight should be like one of my last nights and I still have multiple to do. So I remember at one point I got so sick that smelling these made me want to throw up. That's how sick I was. This is what it looks like. So I just take the cap off. And I just have to poke myself. This is what it looks like when it's done. So the springs go around it and protect the needle. And then I just have to put this in my biohazard bin. Now I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm currently running myself a quick bath just because I A, love baths. I find them so relaxing and just nice. But also, salt baths are actually very healing for what I have an issue of. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to share this specific symptom on the internet, but let's just say um, mouth sores that you get from chemotherapy, you can also get in other places. And that's what I experienced all throughout chemotherapy, which is why I have a salt bath a day, just because it is very healing and it does help the situation. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, yeah, it's really not fun. <laughs> I decided for dinner I want to eat rice paper rolls. I love making rice paper rolls. I find it so fun. But we need some ingredients. So I'm actually going to head out to the grocery store. There's not much that I need. I just need chicken, noodles, and I might get like a few carrots or something just to add some crunch. That is my plan. That's all I need to get. Hopefully I don't buy a bunch more. I always end up going to the grocery store and I buy way more than I need. Sorry if you guys can hear the dogs in the background. Piper is barking at the parents because they're doing hay and she was not invited. But I made my little meal for dinner. So I have my chicken, which uh, when I make this chicken, all I have with it is ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and sesame oil. And it just, I don't know, I find it tastes really good. I have my noodles, of course, my water for the rice paper rolls. I'm trying out this sauce. I've never actually tried it before, but I thought it'd be a good like dipping sauce. But then all my veggies are sliced. So I have peppers, cucumber, carrot, and also some snap peas that I, I've never put snap peas with my rice paper rolls, but I figured it'd be a nice crunch. So that is the plan. I thought I would invite you guys to dinner because I'm eating alone. Um, I can't wait for mom and dad, sorry. But I kind of thought I would chat with you guys a little bit about some things that are going on with me personally. Since being done chemo now for just over a week, I kind of was struggling towards the end of last week mentally. I think when I was going through chemo, it was very much, you know, one day at a time and you're in survival mode. You're not really comprehending what you're experiencing which is a blessing in disguise because I don't think I could have handled it mentally, um, to be honest, because that was a lot. Hmm, that's quite good. Like I was saying, uh, so yeah, last week I think everything kind of started to catch up to me and I wasn't doing that well. I really just wanted to lay in bed all day. I didn't really want to try and like do anything. I literally would get up to eat and then I would just go right back to bed, which that's not usually how I roll. I usually am good at not wanting to be in bed all day, but I think it's because 
I was so used to, you know, constantly being in bed and trying to heal all the time that I just didn't know what else to do once I was starting to feel a bit better. So yeah, I was kind of struggling mentally with that because ugh, of course it has to be destroyed. Okay, do not tell me these are all ripped. I will be so mad. They're all ripped. Anyways, what was I even saying? Yeah, so I was kind of struggling with that. And I've been very real and honest about my experience with chemo and everything. And I don't wanna, you know, say that after chemo I was great and I was fine and I moved on because honestly, I think this will be something that's really challenging for me to move on from. And I think I'll have a lot of almost like PTSD with some things that I'm gonna experience. Like the idea of going in for, you know, a scan or blood work, I'm like, do I have to go? <laughs> um, because obviously I have bad memories associated with a lot of things. I also have a lot of good memories. I had a lot of good experiences with chemo as well, but honestly, a lot of them were just negative. <laughs> That's kind of what's been going on with me. But yeah, so I'm doing better now, but I think a big thing I wanna try and do this week and maybe see how it goes is set three main goals for myself. To see at the end of the week if I achieved those goals, kind of how realistic they were, that sort of idea. So I'm gonna talk you guys through the goals I have. One of them is to exercise every single day because I need to slowly reintroduce, you know, getting up, walking, moving, doing these things because my body has been stagnant for like the last three months and nothing major, just like going on a little walk Hopefully every day I can go for a little bit longer of a walk. Like today, walking at the grocery store, that counts. That sort of idea. I also wanna get into journaling. I need to start writing down, you know, my thoughts, my feelings, that sort of idea. Nothing like, I don't know, too major. Even if I just write like three times a week or something. And my last goal is to read more. I at least wanna read like a book a week sort of idea. Just because reading makes me really happy and when I'm not doing well mentally, it's one of the first things that go, which feels like self-sabotaging almost. Because it's like, I love reading, it makes me really happy, and yet once I start not doing well mentally, I push it away. Which is just not good. It honestly didn't end up too, too badly. There are a few rips in my <laughs> rice paper roll, but it's not too bad. All right, let's see how the sauce is. Mmm, mmm, this makes me so happy. chilly in here. Good morning guys. It's actually not the morning. Not even close. It is currently two o'clock. I am currently getting ready for the day. I'm actually gonna put on a little bit of makeup, which I don't know last time I've done that. <laughs> I don't want to do anything to my eyelashes because obviously they're really delicate right now. So I'm just gonna leave them be. This afternoon I am actually filming a video a sit down video where I talk a bit more about my experience with chemo, cancer, all that stuff. And I'm just gonna answer like some of the questions that I got on my Instagram. So I'm just gonna answer those questions and hopefully it will be helpful for anyone who is gonna be going through chemo or knows of someone who's going through it, that sort of idea. That's the goal at least. <laughs> and I thought it'd just be kind of a good way to end off my chemo series, I guess. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but sure. A lot of my videos are gonna be going back to normal and we're gonna be doing weekly vlogs again, like this one. Not that I really stopped doing weekly vlogs, it's more like they were just different kind of vlogs. I've had a pretty slow morning to be honest, but I need to tidy my room and change my outfit before I film this video. Oh my God, I have my first nose hair growing back. That's so exciting. <laughs> it's actually been really annoying not having nose hairs.
Good morning. So yesterday I got a very exciting package in the mail. I've been in contact with an actor who plays on The Rookie, which it's so cool. He DM'd me and he saw one of my YouTube videos, but he really, really, really was so nice. We were chatting on DMs and he sent me some books, which is just so, so kind and generous and I'm very thankful. So if you're watching this, thank you. You and your family are so sweet and wholesome and it was just a really nice package to get. They sent me so many books and they're all so good. So I got Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. And then I got two Lucy Score books. I actually have these already, but I'm probably just gonna give them to my mom for her collection. It's things we never got over and things we had from the light, which is really fun. I love these books. I'm so excited for the third one. I can't remember what it's called. Then we have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, which is just very appropriate because if you didn't know already, mom and I are actually starting a book club and our first book for September is Love Theoretically, which is also by Allie Hazelwood. So I'm probably gonna read this before I read that book. And then we have In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Clune, Clune, which I actually, I've heard a lot about this book, but I don't actually know what it's about. We have Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong, which I actually have, I think, two other Chloe Gong books, which I loved. We have Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Pores, maybe? I'm terrible with names, so my apologies. And then we have The Infamous Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This is so, so stinking popular right now, and it has been for probably the last like three months. Ever since it's been published, it's been very, very popular. Now I think I'm just going to edit for the rest of the afternoon. It is currently 12.30. I do have to eat lunch, but. It is now right around 4.30ish. And I'm actually headed into Waterloo to go visit Holly, which I'm super excited about because I haven't seen her in quite a while, actually. We are planning on getting our nails done. So this is the before. They're not looking so hot, to be honest, but they are nice and long, which is actually really unusual for me, to be honest. And maybe I'll see you guys at the nail salon. Probably not, because I get shy filming in public. <laughs> maybe I'll just see you guys afterwards. Hi, guys. I don't actually remember the last time I vlogged. I think it's been a minute. Mom and I are actually headed out to go see a play tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of dinner and then yeah, go see the play. We're seeing Rock of Ages, which should be a lot of fun. I also got my nails done yesterday, which I can't remember if I showed you them or not. This is mom's outfit. Cute, with her new shoes. Yum. Yeah. 